Hey everybody, it's the DRock100. Welcome to my new Let's Play of Ratchet and Clank Future A Crackin' Time. First off, before I get started, I just want to say something to you guys real quick. Holy crap, I've missed you guys! It's been like, what, several weeks since I've been in here doing recordings for you guys? Alright, so, let's get into it. I'll start it on medium mode, which is basically normal. Um, keep it like that. So, let's go ahead and create a new save file. And, as what some people would say, let's get this party started! Have I ever told you about my son? Remarkable boy! Quite smart! He was born in a robot factory in the Solana Galaxy. But to be precise, he was created much farther away. My son's name is XJ0461, but the universe knows him as Clank. The Zoni are inquiring about our progress. Ah, how much longer must we pretend to be friends with those twits? Sire does not remember. You must fix. Yes, I'm fixing. I'm fixing. Stand by for sister board scan. All right, let's see. Favorite colors green, favorite numbers 83 billion and 4.7. Blah, blah, blah. Access denied. Neural safeguard activated. No! No! Oh, locked out again! It's in here, Lawrence. Somewhere in this brain lies the key to the Orvis chamber. No, Orvis chamber. Your soniness. If we could take but a peek at the chamber. No, Orvis chamber. Chamber is for sire only. Very well. Then I think it's time our partnership came to an end. Say hello to... Not the hypersonic brainwave scrambler. The hypersonic brainwave scrambler! <laughs> Apologies, sir. I should have mentioned... The equipment is especially susceptible to sonic weaponry. Backup generator activated. He's awake! Stop him! Alrighty, so, welcome to the very first level of the game. I'm not quite sure of where we are, but I'm sure we're going to find out later on. Um, the controls we're getting into in a little bit. I'm sure some of this already stands out. Oh, hello. Listen carefully. I'm your only hope of escaping Dr. Nefarious. Head into the air duct and keep moving. I'm not quite sure who that is, or what that is. Well, we're gonna find out later. You're safe for now. Where am I? What is Dr. Nefarious doing here? I'll explain everything as soon as you're safe, sir. But right now, we need to calibrate your ocular response processes. Try looking at the ocular scanner on your left. Um, this right here is basically okay, just now look at the one on being the right. recal uh, recalibrated. All right. Look at the scanner and above. basically showing us some more controls right there, which is pretty cool. Good. One more beneath you. You got it! You're recalibrated. Now, keep moving. I'll hold them off as long as I can. Okay, so. Um, uh, they're just trying to make a piece of recalibrating on our own. In the, uh, options menu. Um, alright, so, about this game. I think this is probably one of the greatest games I've ever played. In fact, this is the only branch you didn't in game that I own for the moment. Pretty sure I'll get some more later on. Maybe not. Oh well. 
Okay. There's a perfectly logical explanation for that. Uh, but let's save it for another time. Yes. Whoever that is is going to um, tell us more about this time freeze thing that's been going on here. Um, these things that we're collecting, these are bolts. Bolts are uh, basically the worth money in this game. These are going to be very useful later on. Uh oh. Um, in case you haven't figured it out, that is the hypersonic brain noise scrambler. Okay. Alright. Let's break these open. Um, you're gonna want to collect a lot of money in here. Or bolts. Bolt money. Alright, and right here we have the third first enemies of the game. I don't think these things have official names. If they do, I'll post them on screen. But... Oh well. I don't, like I said, don't know for sure if they have official names. If not, then I'll probably come up with names later. Uh oh. Whoa. So, I guess wherever we're at, this place controls every aspect of time. Now, this game. It's actually supposed to be a direct sequel to one other uh, Ratchet and Clank game. I don't fully remember what it's called, but... Shut up, Nefarious. I don't make deals with robotic maniacs. Man. Something tells me that this time free stuff is going to be very useful for later on. Alright. Here and try not to fall off and die to that one. Bad. I'm not quite sure about a chamber. Alrighty, so. Oh, okay, that's interesting. I want a trophy! <laughs> Dr. Nefarious. I should have known you were behind this. Where have you taken me? You don't recognize it? This is your home! The Great Clock! A marvel of science and sorcery, engineered by the brightest Sony in all of existence, and constructed in the exact center of the universe! Give or take 50 feet. I am curious. What lie did you tell the Zoni in your quest for vengeance? Vengeance? You think I went to all this trouble for mere vengeance? They say I'm egomaniacal. Let's just say it's all in the past. Lawrence! Right here, sir. Ready the orb of gratuitous immobilization. Shall I prepare the mnemonic station again? No. I have a better idea. But, sir... Patience, Lawrence. We have all the time in the universe. That, indeed. He does have enough time to spare. And speaking of time, this is the Great Clock. Welcome to Ratchet and Clank Future, a in time, as I already mentioned at the beginning.
It's huge. So huge, in fact, that if you lost your car keys in it, they would be almost impossible to find. Luckily for Ratchet, Captain Copernicus L. Quark was on the case. His mission, rescue the Lombax's one and only friend. Yep, without Clank, Ratchet was alone in the universe. Alone. 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 You realize this ship has an ejector seat, right? Sorry. I guess you could say I've been a little antsy in my pantsy at the thought of getting back into the hero business. <laughs> yep. These wild stallions have been in the stable too long. <laughs> right. Look, just keep your eyes peeled. Talon says this sector's crawling with mercenaries. Rest easy, my friend. My vigilance is both eternal and peripheral. Warning. Warning. Unidentified anomaly detected. Hang on. Shifting to a base of maneuvers. for clean underwear. <laughs> oh, that's oh, hilarious. Heck, are we? It's me. Perhaps a leisurely stroll through this uncharted jungle will solve the mystery. All righty, now we're playing as Ratchet. He has his trusty wrench right here, which is probably his main weapon of choice. Um, he also has a uh, has a pistol in his hand, but we'll get into that one in a little bit. All right, these things right here. Back into some new enemies. This one I actually do know. Those are cyphoids. These are mushroom-like weirdos. Yeah. If you press in the R1, you can fire your, your long-range pistol. Um, the pistol actually has has something of a good use to us. Okay, slight problem. I'm not so good with swimming. Just wait here. I'll find you another way across. Oh, great! This rain is gonna be murder on my spandex. What's the plan? Alright, so if you hold down well, X button on this, bridges, there are people. you where use and use the left ships. trigger on this, you see where I'm going with this? Hey, and make your way across. Pretty smart. You're gonna make a great pretty sidekick. useful, right? Look at this beautiful native craftsmanship. And then you're gonna be getting a lot of bolts in this game. Take that! <laughs> Ran right Whoa. through it. Quark, are you seeing this? Something is seriously wrong with this planet. Uh, it's like time is all not working. No, really? Really, Quark? What did you think it was I'm doing? Rumble, you stupid door! I'll find another way around. Are you gonna be alright with those things on the loose? Please, I can handle a few tiny creatures. You think you could deal with them, hmm? Well, let's find out on that. Um, I believe there's something up there that we can't access quite, quite yet. But I'll be taking care of that later on, maybe. Help! The parents are here! Bleh. Those are, we got, um, what did I say this for? Um, side point. In a bigger state. Alright. Uh, Die. Yeah. The size of those things? They were horrible. Come on, man. Uh, those things that I just picked up, that those are ammos. 
They're really uh, good. For for his kick flat in the heck out of him. Noble sidekick, ninja leaps from stone to stone. Below him, six deadly inches of crystal blue. Walk. I'm sorry, but I had to cut away from him because he is annoying me, Sometimes. Prepared to deliver swift justice to those who cross his path. Alright, that's done. This right here. Wonder what we got here. Ain't she a beauty? Snoop around, Chief. You got a right to protect. You have the constructo bomb. Are oh, you tired these. of having to purchase a different weapon for every occasion? Then try Grummelnet's new constructo line and take charge of your arsenal. Each weapon can be modified with any constructo approved upgrade. Rate of fire, ammo type, specialty triggers. If you can dream it, Constructo can deliver it. Now available in three flavors. The Constructo Bonglov, Constructo Pistol, and Constructo Shotgun. Alright, Chief. What can we do you for? Uh, this thing right here, this is Mr. Zircon. We can't buy this quite yet, but trust me, you are going to love this thing when we get the chance to buy it. <laughs> oh my god. I remember when I had a lot of fun using that thing. Um, if we hold down the uh, triangle, uh, we can select our weapon. Um, as you can see, we don't have the um, Constructo Shotgun yet, uh, but we'll be able to get that later on. We're not going to get it in this episode, unfortunately. Awesome. In fact, I think there's one other weapon that we can oh, buy later help. on. Oh, hello. Please, please help me. My children, they're in danger. What seems to be the problem, citizen? I for it. We were fishing up the river when they attacked. Quark, stay here. I'll go save the children. You got it, sidekick. Smart thinking. All right. I think we're going to be playing some hero business yes, here. Please, All right. Um, alrighty. Um, real quick, if we hit the select button, it basically shows us the map. Um, there's not really much to see there on there. Um, yeah, it's about time that we start using our special bomb for the moment. Oh, oh boy, I can have fun with this. Like I said, we don't have all the, um, Upgrade this thing. Uh, we'll be getting the upgrades later on. Um, you'll know once we start getting upgrades. Alright. So, do that. So. Are you a real Wombax? I think my mom's over here! Yep, the kid's right. We are a Lombax. Um, for those of you that aren't aware, um, the Lombaxes are a proud race of... Actually, I'm not quite sure on that. <laughs> uh, me and my knowledge of this game. But, I, but there will be a history of, of the disappearance of the Lombax later on, if you're not fully aware of it. Like I said, I'm not fully 100% sure on that, but... Oh, wow. Um... I have this thing is like a huge convenience. Or... Something else, I don't know. Alright. Um... Yeah. Alright. This right here. You know what? I'm gonna do something with this, alright? Um, this is where we construct our weapons. Um, there's not much at the moment. We have the blast head. Um, right there. I'm usually pretty persistent on going with certain mods at the moment, but for now, I usually stick with um, gun metal and those at the moment. There will be um, constructions for other types of mods later on. 
that I'll be doing on my own. And I'm usually pretty optimistic on for what I do, especially in my previous playthroughs on this. Um, also, that's also one of them collectibles. Um, collectibles I'll getting into more a little bit later on. Um, I will be collecting all of those, and I'll be collecting all the um, all of those as well. Hey, let's get one thing straight. I'm not a kitty. Do I look like a kitty to you? So much. Happy to be of service, ma'am. The cyboids will be back soon. <laughs> Come. I mean, oh, wait a minute. I thought I was so aiming directly at the guy's eyes. <laughs> uh, I'm such a violent person. I haven't seen them on this planet in years. Something must have happened to the Zodi. Alpheus, open the door. Anessa, what are you doing out here? The Zyphoids are back. There must be something wrong with the Timekeeper. Not in front of the outsiders. Quickly, we must head into the village. Okay, now that this barrier is down, one of the we can finally get Lord a little more of this. The... Okay, now we're now. If it was going to the gates, why were these um, Cyphoids back behind him as well? Wouldn't they have devoured him by now? Actually, probably not, because he's got a, uh, special staff that is off I don't know. Yeah, if you have your... If you do not have to use your wrench properly, fight through here as a breeze. And... Better up! Or actually, in this case, wrench up! Well... Three strikes are out. Or in this case, one shot to him, and they're dead. Okay, that was not related to baseball, but I don't care. I like to talk. Sometimes. Don't aim for them. Right there. I saw your starship crash on the other side of the ridge. <laughs> I believe we may be of assistance. The ship's trashed. There's no way we'll be able to repair it. Ah, but the Zoni can. Meet me at the Temple of Zan whenever you're ready. I will explain everything. <laughs> okay, so for the moment, let's do a little look around the place. Well, this place is actually kind of nice. Hey, stop having such a negative feelings about things. Quit being like me. Wow, Alright, anyway, um... My god, what is it with me always In keep having interruptions these Rick. days? Father, friend, and chief my of the goodness Lord. gracious me. <laughs> like uh, it's probably because I haven't been back into doing this for a while, but... You, you know... Whatever, but anyway, come over here. Oh, the Sonic Eruptor. Let's get it. The Sonic Eruptor. This genetically mutated Xenago is the perfect weapon for crowd control of a destructive nature. Firing the weapon at a group of enemies will unleash a deadly and destructive mating call. Grab a kick. Try squeezing the trigger when the Xenago's lungs are full. The Sonic Eruptor. Available only at Grumman. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that is awesome. A huge belch that can kill people. Whoo-wee! That must stink. <laughs> That's awesome. Your starship is not beyond repair. But fixing it will take powers beyond anything this universe has ever seen. Powers not to be taken lightly. Can you keep a secret? Well, the Zoni are powerful creatures, capable of almost anything. Well, but they are also hive minds, and must be kept together for their energy to work. Inside is a vessel, which will allow you to rescue lost Zoni, well, and harness their bioenergy. Follow me, and don't touch anything. Well, looks like we're going to do a little bit of a... Cave crawling, I guess. 
Eh, alliteration. I hate those. We'll have to seal you inside until you Um, here's what I'm actually gonna be doing from here on in. Um I'm going to find out how to turn on subtitles on because you just have to read me through this. Uh while I do game it. It's just uh, what I do. Alright. The key to this place in here This thing is a joke. If you can't even get through this stuff, there is something wrong with you. And look at that. First thing, easy. Going over here, once again, piece yeah. of cake. Oh, epic jump. And smash. Let's hope this vessel is worth it. According to the chief, it's one of a kind. Brought to this dimension by Orvis and entrusted to the Fongoids. And he's sure it'll fix Aphelion? He said it'll do a lot more than that. Sony Bioenergy is the most powerful resource in the Omniverse. So it sounds like this can... Wow. So this thing right here... is a one of a kind, eh? Finding lost Zonies. Whoa! Quark! There are two Zoni in here. Yes! Got another reward! This is one of them other collectibles that I'm going to be getting. Most of the zonies that we're going to be finding are on planets. Others are going to be on moons. The moons I'll probably show like maybe one or two. Uh, other than that, I will be taking care of those off screen. There's one other thing I'm going to be getting. Um, um, yeah, there's one other thing I'm going to be collecting all of them. All of these certain items. I'll get into what those are later on. But for the moment, we're going to continue on and do this. Now there's one more zone that we're going to be getting here. And that's not going to be until in a little bit. But for now... You survived? I mean, you survived! Yep, we survived. Well done! The vessel is yours! Come! There is one more zone we put in the armory right. for so, keeping. Get on outside, man. Whoa. Uh-oh. Quick! Everyone inside the temple! Morsalon is coming! Alright, Quark. You ready to let those stallions out of the stable? I was born ready. <laughs> has no authority here, villain. In fact, I'm not even entirely convinced he's a real doctor. So return my sidekick's pal before I bring the thunder. You win again, technology. Kill the exile and bring the rest in for question. Alright, it's combat time. Uh, that enemy right there, that is actually going to be someone that's pretty fun for later on. That was Lord Borsalon. He's one mean dude. Time to get out my Corrupto bombs and use it for a while. Hey, 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 hey. Now these enemies right here, I really like these guys. Um, and we uh, these things come in a couple of different kinds. There's these buzzsaw kinds, and they have these blaster kinds. There's one other kind that we'll get into a little bit later. Congratulations! Your weapon is upgraded! Weapons upgrade automatically as they are used. This increases their damage and adds no modifications. That's right. Once we use the weapon well enough, we'll be able to get some upgrades on them. Wow, I can't talk well. Anyway. Um... Oh, I'm actually, I actually need some help. I'm pretty well. Wow. Um, let's, let's use this thing. Whoa! <laughs> uh, ow! You know what? 
Yeah, how do you like that? I, have a I belt you to death. You back to your <laughs> Ah, I love this weapon. I can have some fun with this. All right, that's all cool. Um, let's get back to these. Uh oh. Well, hey, you hit me. You're not supposed to hit me. What have I ever done to you? What? Did one of them just ask me for some pie? Well, that depends on what kind of pie. Uh, oh, hello. Alright! We got upgraded. But yeah, it also depends on what kind of pie that they were offering. If it's like cherry pie, no thanks. Now the pot pie, like chicken or beef, I'm game. But whoa, no, 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 That thing is a monster. I hate that thing. Good thing I managed to break it apart by blowing it up. Yay. Alrighty. Now the boar salon is left. Now we gotta go rescue the victims. The so first. Quickly. Getting pushed by that fongoid. Or whatever his name was. I don't know what his name was. I don't pay attention to those names. But now I'm glad I didn't. And so, now that we have all those three zonies, we pretty much collected, we pretty much have 100% of zonies on this planet, I believe. Now, I will be coming back to this planet later on, off, probably off screen to collect any more collectibles that I've missed. Um, but for the moment, we're okay. Use this zoni vessel to repair your starship. Now, there's also another collectible on here, on here called the golden bolts. I'll get into bolts, those golden bolts later on. Say hello to our upgraded Aphelion. Oh, this thing is a beauty. That thing is a beauty. I wish I had a ship like that. If we collect all the zonies, we can get all the collectibles on upgrades on that as well. But, from here on in, I'm actually all out of time. Right? So, next time on Ratchet and Clank Future, our cracking time, we're going to be chasing after Lord Borsalon and saving those damsels in distress. See you guys then.